Why is that there? Oh! Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are checking out a channel called Piggy Soda. And as you can see from this little preview, it looks extremely uncanny and just quite unnerving, to say the least. This was sent in to me on my Discord by a user called Sparrow. So thank you for sending it in. I appreciate that. If you're not part of my Discord already, guys, join it down below. If you have something to send me, a channel, a video, put it in the Scarebass submission channel. And if I react to it, I will give you a shout out. So like I said, we're reacting to Piggy Soda. The, the videos that we see here are quite short, so we might be able to just get through the whole channel in this one video. So go check out Piggy Soda for yourself. Go check the videos out. Watch it in a muted tab if you wish, or watch it in your spare time. Give them some watch time, like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. So we're going to start off with Dog Show, and I've got them all open up here so let's begin uh -oh. have i what seen this it? before you need to replace this part what okay so uh, i'm not sure if okay uh, sorry if i'm for pausing it guys i'm not sure if these are real adverts right and the whole analog horror is based off of having nightmares about this particular thing maybe the user themselves the creator had nightmares because i i think i remember seeing adverts like this replace this part what is it what is that let me install it for you that's a polaroid i can't even see what there. we can't see it that's it i better check the oil we can't see the photo bro Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't like that. Could be trouble. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. That's a good start for it. That's dog show right there. Let's move on to dog nightmares. This one's the second longest video, I believe, on the channel. So, I'm guessing... Dog nightmares is the series itself of, uh, I'm guessing, a person who's gone through some kind of trauma related to those adverts or whatever maybe and then the rest is are the actual adverts themselves or just the thing that gave them this trauma it's all guesswork guys so this is obviously a child drawing these the things that they see on video or camera i guess that's one weird looking elephant wow Okay, so now we're getting into more personal memories. What is that there? Is that an arm? Oh, that's an arm. Okay, a hairy arm. What the fuck is that? Is that a ram? What is that? I'm not good with my... Uh, anything that looked like deer, elk. There's so many different ones. Man, this is giving me, like, nostalgia of, like, back the early 2000s, late 90s, when, you, when I was a kid. Yeah, ferocious. Rhinoceros. Every time I see a rhinoceros, I just think of uh, uh, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. If you don't know why, just search Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, Rhino, and you'll see... What was that? Okay, no, I don't think it was anything. Unless I just missed it again. It's a cheetah. Or is it a leopard? Okay. This is very... Uh... Oh, there's the dog. Hang on. So wait, they're saying that they saw a dog there? Okay, this is interesting. So it's setting up a narrative without actually saying what's happening. So the person behind this is drawing the things that they see in the photos... And obviously they see a dog in this photo that actually isn't there. Which is super interesting. Okay, do you see something there? Uh-oh. What was it, Skinamarink? Well, oh, this is giving me uh, the goose bumps. The goose pimples. That is a very li liminal looking space right there. You know what it is? It's just, you can make something look super liminal 
by turning the flash on in a very dark place. I think it just gives this liminal kind of effect, this dreamlike feel to it. Here we go. So what's this? What are we about to see? This reminds me of, uh, I forgot what that series was called. Something Forest? With the bear killer, or whatever it was. Not Freddy Fazbear. So these are all the pictures they drew. I gotta say, crayons are just awful for drawing things with. Like, they, they, it just goes everywhere. You can't really be precise with a crayon. Oh dear. You saw that out your... Oh. Okay, Jesus. This person, what, whoever's behind this, has been completely traumatized by this deer. Let's see what people are saying. The execution here is fantastic. The whole time, there was this uneasy sense, like, in any photo, something horrible might pop out, but nothing did. And near the end, when it showed drawings of a dog head looking through the banister, only for it to be seen, not be seen anywhere in the photos, horrifying. Yeah, I think it's really cool. It's subtleties that make good horrors and i don't mean like skin a rink okay listen i'm gonna keep kicking this dead horse i don't know what people saw in that film like i don't know i feel like there's snobbery involved in that because yeah sure there was some good scenes to that but it was majorly just filming walls and grain i don't know i can just imagine people like there just seems to be this whole snobbery when it comes to that kind of art style of film it's like oh yes 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 see what they're trying to do here the walls make them feel claustrophobic yes Yes, I see what they're doing there. And it's just like, oh, really, mate? Boring. I'm not saying you need, like, a monster or something, but you just need at least something. There were two scenes in that film that made me... You know what? I'm going on a rant. Okay, this one's called Bite. It's 30 seconds long. So I'm guessing this is, like, another advert or something. The fisherman. Chunda loves fishing. He's looking through his tackle box. Yeah, look at the dog of mine. Look the fly box. That might work. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of... Uh, is it ducks duck season duck what you know the vr game that looks duck good. season missing dog no march 11th 2009 so missing dog so you're telling me that the dog that they're using in these adverts or whatever is just held against its will Okay, here we go. So this is uh, 104 2009. I haven't been feeling all the great lately with some personal stuff going on behind the scenes, but I will be getting back to uploading soon. Thank you all, E. Now, is that part of the character or is that is that actually real? Found this while looking through my collection of Wegman tapes. So these are Wegman tapes. For entrees, we have peanut butter, hot dog, bologna. How oh, I have a turkey sandwich. Excellent choice. We're ready to order. <laughs> A Karen dog. Cherry or lemon? Or uh, lemon. Very good. Turkey lettuce tomato. Well, oh, the audio cuts out. Turkey lettuce tomato. Lemon toothpick. Oh man, this is kind of disturbing. What's this? This is a cherry toothpick. I ordered lemon. Right, what? sir. I'll take. This is so strange. And this last one is 14 minutes long and it's got a flash warning, so do be careful. It says, he will be found. The fisherman. Chunda loves fishing. Okay, so we've He's seen some of these. His tackle box. A bobber. Look in the fly box. That might work. Uh-huh. That looks good. That's colorful. Check the line. How did they? Oh, here we go. March 2009. So this is him putting up missing posters of the dog. Is he saying that that dog belongs to him? Or maybe it isn't. I don't think it's the same dog. Bailey. Oh, my old dog was called Bailey. She was a staffy as well. Three hundred dollars. Damn. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh one twenty nine twenty four. Oh four. Is that a nine? I don't know. It's not a nice feeling when you lose a dog. Like they like. I don't know. They run away or something. 
You, it doesn't matter what kind of life you give your dog, right? If they're not trained to kind of stay in or whatever, they're just, as soon as they see an open door, it's... Choo! I managed to gather a bunch of Wegman tapes. I plan to archive as many as I can find and burn it into one disc. So far, I've managed to get my hands on Mother Goose, but I'm still in search of two shorts. One is of Butty making pottery, and the other is of Butty or Butty and crookie playing baseball i hope someone has a copy or recorded it what i remember from the clay video i mean that's basically all the videos is it not is his name batty oh god so no not a very good batty <laughs> my goodness got a note from a friend today he said he got me something for my late birthday. I haven't spoke to him in a while since I've been busy looking for Bailey. He wanted me to record myself reacting to his gift. I'm a little tired at the moment. I'll take a look at it tomorrow. Gift opening. 26th. Okay, so we did it in the next day. My friend got me a gift. Well, this is Windows Movie Maker. They wanted me to record myself opening it up. Sorry that there is no audio. My camera is a little broken, but I should be getting a new one real soon. The time has come. Oh, that's nice. Get well soon. A clown, does it say? I don't I don't know what that says. It's blurry. Lovely. That's a really big bow and my favorite color. It's a lot emerald green. Get well soon. Yeah, we just What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, there's a VHS tape of like the video yeah it is isn't it of the video she's been looking for my favorite movie hardly gold william wegman god they this person really likes william wegman i can put this in my collection oh that's cute hey you know it's, it's, a, it's a hobby that hurts nobody you know it's cool what does that say man old vhs tapes oops what she what what happened thank you so much i love them it's not much of a reaction is it if you think about it uh because the, the audio's cut out so you just have to go by text basically i finished the photo album i was telling you about oh dear let's have a look oh this is the the, the drawings and stuff or oh it's not the drawings it's just the photos of the different animals that we saw in the previous video dog nightmares my first time being at the zoo can't really see much to be fair that's me you're a dog is it are they a furry I mean, hey, listen each you know I'm not, I'm not judging whatever it's all good family oh interesting they replaced the faces with animal heads and stuff so where's the dog in that one there is that your imaginary friend oh and that's why they took another photo there because they thought that's the where the dog was oh look, okay she, they're just covering up the faces with animals got you interesting The hell, hang on, what was that? Oh, is that Bailey? Oh no! A dog of mine! My camera died. Thank you again for the gifts. I will now be getting some rest because it's late. Good night. Oh my god. That dog looks a little bit weird, I'm not going to lie. I keep having that dream again, the one where you are no longer with me. I know you are still out there. I kept going around asking my neighbours to keep an eye out for you. I'm sorry I couldn't come home and you must have gone to look for me. Second of March. Oh, that's 
a pretty cool sketch. I will find you, no matter how little sleep I get each day, you mean more to me. I can't live without you, Bailey, I love you. Oh god, I, someone keeps taking the posters down, I had to keep putting them up. Why? Rip it, what, the, is it the dog? <laughs> I found some old photos while looking for photos of Bailey. They were from my old home. I also found some old paintings of mine. There was also a book I made when I was about seven or eight. Would you like to take a look? Yeah, sure. I mean, why not? You know, go crazy. We can look at them together. Let's go, baby! Right, um, I don't know what kind of Meat Canyon sketch that was, but... What are you pointing at? I feel like there's some trauma going on here. Like some un... Oh, okay, so that's her. Best friend. Mummy had to go to Wait, what's happening here? Whoa, okay. Mummy had to what? Go to work. Mummy has Mommy left has left to go to work. Okay. And I am left to play all by myself. Okay. She warned me not to open the door to strangers. Yeah, that's like good, some good advice right there. Stranger danger. And she always has a key to open the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah, responsible adult. Yeah. She says if I ever hear knocking on the front door... To ignore it. They must go up to my room really, really fast and lock the. Okay. Until she comes home. Interesting. But you just, just yeah, I guess that makes sense. Why, why run up the stairs really, really fast though? I feel like that's going to give away. I don't like away... going upstairs. You what? You don't like going upstairs. But I don't like going upstairs. Yeah, neither did I as a kid. I don't know why. That's where all the monsters live, apparently, upstairs. There's a really big hole in the wall that's really scary. Oh, okay. Sometimes, Sometimes I can hear it creaking from in there. What, a big hole in the wall? One day, I ran really, really fast past it. Uh-huh. This is like Intruder or whatever it is. Mandela. When I did, I heard a doggy barking. Oh. Oh, is this where Bailey was found? And then silence. I took my flashlight and went to take a look. Okay, let me have a look at this hole. Why is there a hole there? Unless it's part of the... That's someone breathing in your vents. Why is that there? Ah! Oh! What the fuck? Right, okay. Yeah, you might want to just run.
my new best friend. And then I met my new best friend. Of course it's your new best friend. Yeah. Why wouldn't it? The boys were determined to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Sunset Point. Why was it closed? He's still what? That says he's still... Was she just forgetful? Oh, to be two dog humans on a boat. Or was she in trouble? I I feel Number like a rock wedged in the tire. Number four. How odd. That should keep her out of the way. Did you give her more nerve, man? I tied her up and put her in the old geologist shack. Good. What Good. the? Before they're on to us, we'll be in Canada. Over here. Over there. Through here. Over here. I definitely heard a sound. What's happening? Over here. Hmm. Not here. Side. Oh, look at the doggies. Okay. Who do you think they be? Oh my god, it's just Beyond. nothing but dog TV. Dog. Is this like a Rick and Morty universe where there's just dogs everywhere? There's no humans anymore. Oh, that is a flash warning right there. That's about it. See ya. What is that photo? He's still out there. Okay, the dog. Who's still out? Right. Wow, that confused the hell out of me. Hang on a sec. Let's go down here. I'm, I'm, I gotta say, I'm very confused as to what's happening here. Is it the fact that she's watching so many of these things that she's now imagining? That's got to be it, right? She's watching. She's seen so many of these videos that she's now imagining that there's someone there. Is the hole in the wall even real? I don't even think that that's real. Maybe she imagined that too, and that explains why with the banister or you know the stairway. She's pointing out a dog that she can see. Oh, I'm assuming a she. I'm sorry if I'm assuming things here. But um, they're not actually there. And so this thing here is not real, obviously. And what, what's the connection with the dog being missing? I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know down below. You guys should definitely go check this channel out for yourself. Piggy Soda. That was really, really well done, that video, in honesty. It didn't rely heavily on jump scares or whatnot, but it built up this ambience and this kind of tension, but it didn't release it at the same time. Like, it was constantly tense. There was something uneasy and off about the whole video, and I really enjoyed that. So keep up the good work, Piggy Soda. Yeah, if you guys did enjoy, why not leave a like, rate, and subscribe? This is the majority of my content, usually like analog horror, horrors in general. So if that's your cup of tea, then why not subscribe?